thought I'd wear my best outfit for church today. What do you think? <laughs> what, is it, what does it look like I'm about to do? Looks like I'm about to have a fight. What sort of fight do you think I'm about to get into? I'm going to fight Goliath. I've got a bit more on than David did when he fought Goliath. But this is only good for certain types of fights. Do you think this will help me in a fight with the tax office? No. No. It's not going to help. Do you think this will help me in a fight with a grizzly bear? No, not really. You want to be a long way away from a grizzly bear if you get in a fight, so you can run really fast. See, this is good for certain types of fights, but not every type of fight. This will protect me against getting hit with a hammer or getting hit with a stick. But the problem is none of this is going to help me against the real fight. Because as we've just heard read in the Bible, Jesus had a real fight. He had to fight the devil. And we do too because the devil is constantly trying to tell us to ignore God and to not do what God says and to not believe what God says. Do you think that this sword's going to help me? Think the shield's going to help me? How about this metal shirt? Is that going to help me? What do you think will help me? Trusting in God. And we do that by reading the Bible. That's why in the Bible passage that the bishop is going to talk to us about and that was about to be read, it says the Bible is like a sword, the word of God, because this is what Jesus used to send the devil away. And this is what we can use when the devil is trying to trick us into not believing what God says or doing what God tells us not to do. So this armor is cool, it's fun, it looks pretty, but it's not actually very useful against what really matters. The Bible, however, really is. And that's what we're going to learn lots about today. And you've got lots of pictures of people in armor to color in and draw in your kid's sheets. So how about I pray for us? And then you can go and grab one of your sheets and some pencils. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have given us everything we need in the Bible to fight the real enemy, and we pray that you will help us to read it, to learn it, and use it how you would like us to use it. Amen.